All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. Oh, wait. Okay. I Okay. Wait, 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 wait. He's not actually link level 10. <laughs> I literally just realized that as soon as I started the video, but we could just do this. Okay, okay. I was planning on doing this anyway. I hadn't actually just done it yet. Um, so I've been link leveling Trunks. I've actually just been stuck. He's had this one link for like 24 hours that's not finishing. So I was like, whatever. L l let's just record the video now. And then I just didn't do that before I started, but whatever. All right. So we have full level 10 links, this free to play kid trunks. This trunks to me seems like he's potentially a decent option. I mean, I I'll give the free to play Videl and the free to play kid trunks this. At least they gave them kits where they could be semi competitive. I think there are uh, many times where trunks will die and not be very effective. Now, I mean, a lot of people are saying Trunks is really good. I kind of want to go into a dastardly difficult fight and see how difficult. I think you guys are already following what I'm what I'm thinking with this, but I think I want to take Trunks into the Goku and Frieza fight. Now, uh, I'm recording this. I've got this done. Obviously, the LR family Kamehameha is not out yet. Um, and then, you know, I want to show this as well. So we're running the movie hero team. So, uh, SDR, LR Family, Kamehameha, Gohan's coming out. This Trunks should work well with that character, right? Because, I mean, Trunks gives support to Gohan and Goten characters. Um, you know, just, you know, kind of like an intro buff. Uh, but don't forget, I mean, the chances that this character EZAs in this celebration, I would say are about 99.9%. .9%. Uh, very good chance this is just directly the next EZA. Very well could be. Um, but I think we will see this character EZA in this celebration. So, they could work pretty effectively next to this trunks right you know so keep in mind at the time i'm recording this there are two upcoming characters who could work very well with this kid trunks in the lr family kamehameha gohan um and then also this trunks and goten right there uh sorry so this is the squad we're gonna rock i really wish that the old team option was here i hate this like i i'm talking about the top team with trunks obviously but man it's frustrating um, let's go into the Goku and Frieza fight. Let's just see how things are going to look, right? We'll be able to see how effective he could be in there. Now, I gave Trunks, uh, you know, literally the max dodge I possibly could. I do not anticipate anyone would disagree with that. The character needs to literally dodge or he's bad. So, obviously, full dodge. All right, gamers, let's head in just like this. Um, so, Beast Gohan and Dragon Fist standby. We're going to use those to get us through... So Trunks is in slot 7. Well, that's actually very good. He's going to show up against uh, 17 who locks. And uh, Trunks, we want to run him in slot 1. So that's going to be good for us. Um, and then, again, what we're going to do is we will use Beast Gohan and Dragon Fist standby. Um, you know, defensively against 17 and Golden Freeze who are dodge canceling. Uh, our rotations seem to be pretty good. I, I think I'm going to cut. This is a Trunk showcase, though. Right, not like let's just sit here and play through the whole event. So I'm going to go ahead and cut um, until Trunks comes back in slot 7. All right, guys, just coming back real quick right here to show. Um, that looks like we are good to go on this turn right here. So, all right, yeah, we'll uh, we'll come back uh, next turn and see uh, Trunks uh, probably in slot uh, 1. Well, we'll keep him in slot 1 against this Android 17 right here. Uh, I do want to make sure... <sighs> Man... Uh, maybe it would be better to float Beast off to protect Kid Trunks, though. Uh, because Dragon Fist won't be able to use a standby until turn six. Let's just, let's just go like this for now, and we'll, we'll, we'll come back, we'll come back. All right, guys, here we go. So, uh, going up against, uh, the hardest fight in the game. Uh, what's the locking look like? So, it's Dragon Fist. All right, so we're gonna lose him. Um, all right, so we'll just have to be very, very cautious next turn. Um, I mean, maybe we could go to a different fight and not do this fight. I mean, obviously, Kid Trunks' main gimmick, his defensive abilities and stuff like that, is going to be around dodging. Um, he also does get stronger um, when there's another hybrid Saiyan in the same turn. He gets uh, damaged, right? Um, all right, so let's just kind of see this. It, it, it is funny. He's gonna The Trunks is going to work a lot better... Uh, once we get, like, kind of, like, the full scope of some of these characters. But let's just kind of, like, see what we're going to look like right here. Okay, so we do dodge right away. I should point out, Trunks gets 140% attack, um, and then a high chance to crit on his next attack after dodging. So, by dodging the first attack, you know, he gets a buff. Like, um, Super Boo has a similar thing, right, where 
he gets hit, and then it's like his next um, attack is buffed. So, you know, like you, he could, you know, get hit in slot one, then super with the buff, then get hit after he attacks, and then carry over the buff to the, like, the next turn, right? Uh, LR Super Boo had that ability, um, and that's, looks like that's kind of what we could rock with, um, uh, Kid Trunks as, as, as well. Um, let's see, Trunks gets another 20% chance to dodge within the next turn every time he dodges five or more attacks in battle. That is... Uh, okay. Uh, that's a lot, dude. Like, <laughs> okay. So it's, it's a huge number. Um, we really could be looking at just uh, death right here. Should we just beast active right here? I think I'm going to. I'm just going to beast active on this turn. Straw it all the way. And then float beast to get him on rotation next to Kid Trunks and see how that's going to work. Um, all right, let's transform you. I probably will use the standby as soon as we're able to with uh, Goku, Gohan, and Trunks also. Let's just try and conserve as many orbs as we can. Yeah. All right, I'll just skip through this turn again. This is going to be a long turn right here. A lot of attacks in this turn. I, I do want to focus on Kid Trunks. I just wanted to jump into the hardest fight to see how it would look with Kid Trunks. But, I mean, we, we will do another fight as well. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got here. So, uh, Trunks is obviously built around dodging. It's just the entire thing about this character. Um, so, I mean, we got a pretty good RNG right here. Um, I don't actually need to do anything, I don't think. I, I, I think we're good. I think we could just leave this as is. Um, as long as 17 and Golden Frieza don't nuke us with a ridiculous super attack um, in slot 3, we should be okay. Um, Blue Gogeta obviously is capable of tanking here, but he can't handle um, a super attack. All right, let's see what uh, Kid Trunks might be looking at right here. Uh, Goku, Gohan, and Trunks could definitely take significant damage here, but uh, this should not be death. Although, remember, 17 and Golden Frieza, their damage goes up every single turn. So, they get stronger. Uh, okay, okay. I, th I thought we'd be able to um, hang in there, but uh, sure. Uh, okay, well, <clears throat> I, guess, I guess we should have used the standby right there. I, damn, that was, like, gotta be right around how much health we had, huh? Did we just barely die? Um, alright, let's, let's drop it down a little bit, because as things stand, if we're gonna run, like, Movie Hero, um, like, you know, running Hybrid Saiyans, which we want for, for Trunks, it is, you know, a little bit less effective. Let, let, let's, let's hang on here. All right, guys, here we are. Um, so we, we kind of, I mean, we saw Trunks against one of the trickier bosses uh, in the game. We, we were able to sort of, like, make it through there, right? So, like, we see he's got the ability to, um, you know, dropping down to just a little bit of a weaker event before the stronger Hybrid Saiyan characters come out uh, that can make Trunks potentially a little bit better in the harder fights. We could just look at him, uh, like, kind of, like, in a situation like this and sort of see how it's going to work. Um, Trunks does have several 200% leader skills, which I could just quickly show here. So, obviously, we have the Goku, Gohan, and Trunks who we're on. We have Gogeta, who we were on earlier, right? Um, those are both two top-tier leaders. Uh, the other four I'm not really as high on, but we do have those two. Um, Trunks, of course, remember, is not, of course, going to be a Kamehameha category character or on the family Kamehameha leader skill, right? Um, all right, so let's just kind of, like, get some stuff going. Uh, let's see how Trunks is going to look. I mean, remember, we're on the Goku, Gohan, and Trunks team now. So the support is going to start to get very, very massive. 144k defense, huh? Um, I mean, Kid Trunks, remember, does want to be on a rotation with a hybrid Saiyan to get a lot of extra stats. All right, let's see how we do here. I mean, if we get hit by this... Okay. Uh, that would have been death, right? 4.51. So Trunks gets two key... 140% attack and even to the start of turn, that's up. He gets 140% attack and additional is a high chance to be a super if there's a hybrid Saiyan ally in the turn. We don't have that up. Uh, Trunks also gives hybrid Saiyans uh, support, one key, 25% attack and defense. Uh, and then another one key, 25% attack and defense for allies who uh, name include uh, Teen Gohan or Kid Goten. Uh, then he gets 40% defense when receiving an attack. Now, that should just go up. That, that should be every single time he's targeted, right? 
Then he has the high chance to dodge. He gets another 20% chance to dodge as a first attacker in the turn. Uh, we went over that big attack buff he gets after he dodges. And then he gets that 20% chance to dodge after he dodges five or more times. Um, now, it's... Okay, so it's additional 20% chance to dodge within the next attacking turn every time he dodges five or more attacks in battle. Within the next attacking turn. Okay. And then the way he set up is you could use his active skill, which is a target mechanic ability, um, and he could do that after he dodges five attacks. So typically, when Kid Trunks is able to use his target mechanic, you probably want to use it, and he's going to have 90% dodge on that turn. I mean, it's like he's got value. Uh, this Trunks is definitely not like a loser character, for sure. Just like the free-to-play Videl. Um, I think that there's, uh, you know, very easily things could go bad, but certainly not um, a loser character, which I think is big. Now, of course, over here, we're going to have, you know, the Goku, Gohan, and Trunks support is all over the place. Um, I, I did bring the uh, Bio Broly movie, um, Kid Trunks and Kid Goten. Uh, remember that they, you know, they, they can work effectively, although they are... Um, they are uh, Kamehameha support, right? But those are kind of like the best... Uh, Kid Trunks and Goten characters that I could kind of think to bring onto the team, right? Yeah, because their their support is... We're probably going to put Goten in slot 2 next turn. And he gives Kamehameha category allies 2 key 70% attack and 30% chance to crit. We'll see. If, if the, the Dokkan Fest Trunks and Goten are pretty good, things could get interesting. Very interesting. If that Dokkan Fest Trunks and Goten from the Bio Broly movie... If they get a powerful easy A, which assuredly is going to come during the celebration. All right. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Looking good. Looking good. Uh, these these bosses obviously are not, like, really bad for us. Like, I think we're going to be fine. Uh, okay, Trunks, we're good here. Yeah, there you go. All right, so uh, we did not get five dodges yet, right? Nope, not not yet, not yet. What's his defense at? 261. I mean, it's definitely going to be a dodge or die character, right? Like, for sure. Uh, it, it's going to be about getting those dodges off at the end of the day. Um, all right, so let's do this turn. We're going to be able to link pretty good next to a Goten, of course. So Trunks, uh, his link set here um, is the Innocence. Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Budding Warrior, Prepare for Battle, Z Fighters, and Shouting Limit. Oh, a Z Fighter character. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, Z Fighter character. Wow. Uh, you don't see very many of those pop up. That is not a link that is up all the time. All right. So, sure. Let's do this. Let's see how we're going to uh, do right here. Uh, remember, once we get five dodges... Um, that's when we're going to be able to have, um, Trunks' active skill up. Okay, we got to dodge. Got to dodge. You have to dodge. Damn. I, I gave him the full, um, 33 dodge build as well. Because it's, it, as a character, this Trunks is literally... Oh, we saw the big difference in his damage. That's because, you know, he only gets the temporary buff for one attack. And then he has to dodge again to get it back up. So now it's back up. Then there's another dodge. One more. Okay, cool. All right, so we'll definitely have the active skill target mechanic next turn. Um, I mean, he's certainly a character that could be used. I, right, like, he's got abilities. He he could fail you. Like, if we were in a really tough fight, those, like, two, like, he just didn't dodge like that, like, we, we would be getting smoked, right? But, um, okay, not bad. Let's skip to next turn, and we'll be able to use his target mechanic ability. All right, guys, so here we are in this next rotation. Um, I guess in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have brought the other Kid Trunks, but whatever. We got a fun little rotation right here. Uh, let's go ahead and pop Kid Trunks' active skill. Um, so we can do this once Kid Trunks has dodged five attacks in battle. So right now, in slot one, Trunks is going to have a 90% chance to dodge, plus this build, which I highly, highly recommend, which is, you know, 30, 31, 32, or 34 dodge, right? Uh, this is going to give Trunks an extra 40% defense and draw all attacks to him 
and then give Hybrid Saiyan Category Allies four key for one turn. Let's see if the GOAT can pull off uh, every single dodge rotation. I hate active skills and intros and stuff like that that have no uh, voice acting, by the way. But a huge pet peeve of mine. Huge pet peeve. Huge monster pet peeve. Uh, by the way, his super attack effect is actually very good. I, I, I really should have pointed this out. This is very strong. This is 50% defense for three turns. Supreme damage. And then raise allies defense by 30% for one turn. I could hear smart Alex right now saying, oh, you want to go additional because he has a great super attack effect which he definitely does. But this guy wants to be running slot one. What happens when the boss just kills him before he even attacks? The additional did nothing, right? So um, again, I'll try and keep it to a minimum, but you you got it. It's a free-to-play character, right? You're not looking to do 50 million, 50 guaranteed crits with him, okay? All right, Trunks, let's see. Uh, he's at a 6 million attack set, okay. Remember, we did have a dodge from last turn, so he did have his attack buff up. Uh, by the way, he's going to have extra damage as long as the hybrid Saiyan allies are in the same turn as him. All right, let's see. Every single dodge is what we're looking for. So right now, he has a 90% chance to dodge, plus he also has a 33% chance to dodge. So both of those would need to fail to get hit. Yeah, nice. Nice. I could see him having value. No doubt about it. I, I mean, I would prefer him being a little bit better. It's the same thing with Videl, really. It's very easy to make Kid Trunks a little bit better. Oh, he did get hit once. Okay. But, okay. He did get hit once. But at that point, remember, he gets 40% defense when receiving an attack. So, I mean, his defense after, you know, receiving all of those attacks, plus the active skill defensive buff, unless that was like a Dark God of the Game STR Bulma super, like Trunks would have been fine. I'm, I'm sure, against most attack, His defense had to have been very high right there, right? Uh, he, he, he looks solid. The way I think that Trunks could be a bit better would be if he didn't have to be in goddamn slot one. That additional 20% chance to dodge as the first attacker in the turn, if they could just give him third turn right there, like third slot in the rotation, that would be so nice. That would be so good. But it's, because uh, remember, I mean, we're talking about a free-to-play character who has 7,000 defense right there, right? Like, it's like, if, if he was able to just be put in slot three, I, I, I like him, I like him. Considering how bad free-to-play characters often are, I think both this Videl and this Trunks, they at least have got stuff, right? Like, they're not, these are not loser characters. I'm definitely a little bit more optimistic having seen Kid Trunks in action. I mean, I feel like we could, you know, doing the LR Family Kamehameha World Tour, like, we could bring Trunks here and there, and he could potentially help out. So, that's good. That's good. All right, yeah, not bad. Um, I feel like he he's at least got a little bit of stuff here. Uh, if only these two free-to-play characters weren't, you know, like, please run them in slot one. That's the only thing, right? Uh, okay, so this is Brilliant Plan to Conquer the Enemy. Super Saiyan Trunks Kid. Leader skills, hybrid Saiyan category key 3 and 50% of stats. Passive skill, innovin, innocent, innocent uh, provocation. Uh, two key, 140% attack and defense at the start of turn. He gets 140% attack and in additional, there's a high chance to be a super. There's another hybrid Saiyan category ally in the turn. Now, remember, that can be good. I mean, we could just skip to, a, again, a super attack effect and how good it is. So, it's like, if, you know, you want this Trunks in slot one, probably. I mean, it depends on the situation, but if he's in slot one and you double super, it's going to be very effective for not only him, but for the rest of the rotation, too. So, I mean, that extra additional right there is definitely handy. Uh, and then he gets to 140% attack, the additional, if there's a hybrid Saiyan ally in the turn. Right now, I mean, it, it's, it's literally, there's two characters who are about to massively buff this Trunks. The Carnival Family Kamehameha Gohan, and then, of course, the um, Bio Bully movie Dokkan Fest Goten and Trunks. Uh, then this Trunks gives Hybrid Saiyan Category Allies one key 25% attack and defensive, uh, attack and defensive support. Uh, then he gives one key 25% attack and defense for allies whose names include Teen Gohan or Kid Goten uh, within the character's attacking turn for four turns from his entry turn. 
So if he starts in slot seven, the buff would be on, you know, you know, turn three, and then he'd also have it on turn five if he kept him on rotation. Uh, or floated him off, it'd be on turn six. Okay, so he's going to get two turns of that extra buff for Gohan and Goten. Uh, then he gets 40% defense when receiving an attack. Uh, he has a 50% chance to dodge. He gets an extra 20% chance to dodge as the first attacker in the turn. He gets 140% attack temporarily and a high chance to crit temporarily upon the character's next attack after dodging. So remember, that's a one-time thing, which we did see in the video where he supered, he had the attack stat, and then the second attack stat was much lower um, because that buff had run out, right? But remember, if you get the additional super, there's still going to be some good defensive value, not only for Trunks, but for the rest of the team as well on rotation. So, I mean, additionals do have value, but at the end of the day, if he's not dodging, you're losing, period, right? Uh, then he gets an additional 20% chance to dodge, um, up to 20% within a turn, within the next attacking turn, Every time he dodges five or more attacks in battle. So, in conjunction with his active skill, come paddle my bottom, um, can be activated after the character dodges five or more attacks in battle. The second you could use his active, you know this is up. And then if you put him in slot one, he'll have a 90% chance to dodge with the target mechanic. Uh, the good news is, I, I mean, as he continues to dodge... Um, I mean, his defense is going to go up and up and up and up. A lot of bosses right now um, do tend to super right away, too. Like, eventually, Trunks is going to get hit, even with a 90% chance to dodge. But, I mean, after he dodges a bunch, his defense is going to be competitive. But a lot of the scariest bosses do pretty much just super right away almost always but i mean I, I i like it i don't know i i, I like kind of what they did with him because again you do the five dodges you have the extra 20 percent chance to dodge next turn in conjunction with this in conjunction with this and then he has you know 90 percent dodge and slot one and then you're going to get the 40 percent defensive buff active skill defensive buff you're going to draw all attacks towards trunks and then he gives hybrid saiyan category allies four key for one turn so um it's definitely interesting uh, he's certainly a much better character than Paragus. I I can't believe this Trunks and Paragus. Like, Paragus has nothing. I uh, It's so weird. Okay. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, then Trunks' is super attack, the Burning Breaker. He gets 50% defense for three turns, uh, and then does supreme damage to the enemy, and then he gives allies 30% defense for one turn. So if you get a couple of these in slot one, you're going to make your allies a lot better defensively, which is good. Links are the Innocence, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Budding Warrior, Prepare for Battle, Z Fighters, and Shattering the Limit. Uh, 12 kill inspire, 140%. Uh, here is his 200% leaders. Again, you know, Movie Hero, Gogeta, and then the Goku, Gohan, and Trunks. Uh, Carnival Gohan, of course, is a 200% buff to Kamehameha, which Kid Trunks is not on. Um, and then here is his best linking partners. Um, a lot of these characters we see here are just not very good. No character on this is elite. None of them. The only one who might be is this character, potentially in like two weeks or a week or something like that. Maybe like September 20th, September 21st, September 22nd. Yeah, prob maybe potentially like the 23rd or something like that. I think we could see this character easy. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so there's that. Uh, finally, let's just go ahead and take a look at Kid Trunks' um, categories. So Trunks, of course, is on the Hybrid Saiyan category team. Uh, more and more buffs for that is fine. Uh, Trunks is also on the Dragon Ball Seeker category team right here. Sure, more buffs for that team. Not a bad idea. Uh, Trunks is also on the Movie Hero category team. So, I mean, we've had a lot of Kid Trunks from this movie in the game. This is Remember, there was the other uh, free-to-play character we got a couple of years ago. Uh, then Trunks is also on the Vegeta family category team. Um, would like to see some more Vegeta family buffs, for sure. Uh, we also have the youth category team that Kid Trunks is on. Very good. Uh, then Trunks is on the hybrid Saiyan category. No, excuse me. This is Super Saiyan. This is the Super Saiyan category team right here. Then this is... Yeah, because Hybrid Saiyan was the first. Yeah, that's Super Saiyan. This is the Gifted Warrior category team. Uh, then Trunks also has the Bond of Friendship team. By the way, Bond of Friendship 
That's a team that needs a new leader skill. Yeah, we have not gotten one. The, the, we have two premium leaders, Tech Kefla and Tech Pan. So we need a new Bond of Friendship leader for sure. Uh, then, uh, Kid Trunks is also on the Bond of Parent and Child right there. I cannot wait for this to become uh, a relevant team again. That's going to be so awesome. Um, and then finally, Kid Trunks, of course, is an Earthbred Fighter category character. So, let me know what you guys think of the free-to-play Kid Trunks. Um, not bad. He's not bad. Not at all. I, I think he's decent. I mean, things can go bad, but, I mean, I, I could be a... It is a free-to-play character. I mean, at least they gave us a character you could conceivably go into an event and he could be able to pull some stuff off. I mean, you know, you could just die immediately, right, as like a free-to-play dodge-or-die character, but, I mean, he's got at least a little bit of stuff here, so that's good.